Closing my eyes, my hands are everywhere, no one speak to me, no one film yeah. me, this is my moment. I love you. And I oh, love coming me. back oh, to me. you. But five hours. What do you mean? <laughs> What did you say? Scuba drive. Scuba drive. Scuba drive. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm Josh Denzel, and I'm back inside the first team bus for another episode of On the Road with Trivago. I think I've just seen the players. How are you in a t-shirt in this weather, by the way? Oh, that is in the brief. <laughs> that is the name I've got here. Now. <laughs> What's happening? Good to see you. Good to see you. Shouldn't be. This is your bus. Come you on. Show me around. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Okay. I want to know all your best travel stories, all your best tour stories. And it's going to stay between us three and these four cameras. OK? That's all. That's the only okay, people good. that are ever going to see it. What kind of energy you bring into the bus? Is it like a calm and relaxed energy? Or is it a more excitable, entertaining energy? If you'll hear something on the bus, it'll be from me. <laughs> Whether it's shouting, laughing. Normally, um, we're playing card games as well. We do like to play card games. Yeah. Um, There's something you've missed off here. Because the other day, we spoke to um, a couple <laughs> of your good friends and your teammates. Oh, no. Said, I think the quote was, she thinks she's Adele <laughs> and she won't be told otherwise. I think that no, was No, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have none of that. Only... Sure, tell me. But they said yeah, that was bad. Good or, good or not. I know you have to sit next to good or well, not. Why are they backstabbing so me? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's not convincing. <laughs> what kind but, of yeah. tones are we... It's like the Scottish no, Adele. <laughs> it's a twist between Adele and Louis Capaldi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Louis Capaldi, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, it, it, that's more... It's more of a Louis Capaldi, I would okay. say. Then. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I'll take it. Because he, he's, he's a he's star, He's very talented. Right? He's a star. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Me too, then. <laughs> I guess, is it, does it just come over you and you're like, I need to sing right now? Yeah, man. Yeah, no, but you have to tell your different moods. It's like, so when you're a little bit tired, maybe? Yeah, when I'm a bit tired, I Which sing never song. happens. No, but, no. Like, if. Then you sing this... Um, the yeah, sad songs. When we've had a late, a late one, or maybe we've had a bad result or something, doesn't happen often. I like a little bit of Adele, a little bit of the script, you know, like... Oh, wow. Going back to the corner oh, where It's I... very emotional songs, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the emotions Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, singing, I'm singing from the chest. Yeah. I'm closing my eyes, my hands are everywhere, no one speak to me, no one film <laughs> yeah. me, this is my moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was going to ask who's the entertainer on the bus or the plane. I would say you, Sam, Millie, Guro, like yeah. them four, it's a good vibe, I think, yeah. at okay. the back of the bus. So for me, small doses, a little bit you're more, in the front, middle, in yeah. The back, yeah. It's like you go back there, pick up some you entertainment, energy, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm ready to sit by myself. <laughs> That's so true. Headphones on or music out loud, people. Also, I want to know, like, would your music taste go down well if it was played out of the speakers? Oh, I hope you so. You just sing yours, so it's fine. <laughs> so just, uh, tell me. Yeah, no, I hope so. I think when I'm. Uh, you no, so? no. Have you heard my music? Stinking music. I'm so okay, sorry. Okay, Descri ah. okay, why stinking? Because that's a, that's a real strong <laughs> word to describe <laughs> someone's Scott. music. It's a good Scottish Have you heard my music? music? I'm sorry. It's like Abba and Queen and all that. No, f***. <laughs> 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 sorry, I'm... <laughs> like, do you like Beyonce? I do like yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, I play Beyonce. Do you like Dua Lipa? Ah, yeah, it, right, okay. I I don't play Abba. The, the, I feel like there's like... Maybe there's it's like a the, the Scandi connection. That, yeah. Girl was like... They just think I like ABBA and I really don't yeah. like ABBA. I'm from Sweden, I love yeah, yeah. yeah. So I put some generalizations going on here. <laughs> I feel but... that too. <laughs> Who would you least like to sit next to on the bus? <laughs> no, I, I'm telling you. No, no, because there's someone in your mind that came very quickly. <laughs> so can we just spit this out and start now? Um, no, but there's a reason why you sit at the back of the bus and I sit like more. Aye. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't so, like to sit next to anybody that was super quiet and like mm. reserved. Mainly so, because I think they would probably have a they'd nightmare probably journey. Rip yeah. my head off. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think you gave me the answer. Like five. I lo I love you and I oh, love me. coming back oh, to you. It's me. But five hours. What do you mean? <laughs> listening to Adele. Oh, no. That's so and brave. Louis Capaldi <laughs> or what? This is called the check-in. Okay. Usually I fire off some quick-fire questions and you answer. But there's a twist. You're going to answer for each other, OK? What was it you would like to do? Visit local landmarks or <laughs> pie? Visit local landmarks, I would say. Much. I, like, I think she's quite like, ingrained in the history. She's quite an intelligent girl. I think you can find a great culture on the dance floor as well. Really? Dance, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Genius. I like that. I must say, so There's I'm many mixed, different yeah. cultures on the dance yeah, floor. Yeah, come on. Favourite holiday destination? Go on, give quickly. <laughs> I'm going to say Bosnia. <gasps> Family. 
the pizza party. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, family. Bye. <laughs> okay. Which one of you is more likely to order food or drink in the local language? <laughs> <laughs> and if so, <laughs> I like you said hello. Yeah. I would say me. Yeah, I feel like you're more, I don't know, spontaneous. Can try. I would, yeah, I would try. I would, Spanish in a in a yeah. broad Scottish accent is going to yeah, be an exactly. interesting. Oh, you you would just share go. Mess up off yeah. 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 A beer, please. That's easy. Yeah. That rolled off the tongue very quickly. Yeah. It's like you said that a few times before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cafe con leche, por favor. Wow. See, see, I'm serious, man. I thought yeah. you were going to say I'm Spanish. I thought no. Nah, no, that, that, that needs a little bit of work. That was a, a broad Scottish accent. Yeah. You know, I need a wee bit of okay. class. I'm yeah, a bit of teaching good. practice, and I'm good to go. I like it. Joe, so, what would Aaron rather do? Scuba dive or safari? What, what did you say? Scuba drive. Scuba drive. Scuba drive. <laughs> scuba driving is a new sport. <laughs> scuba dive. Scuba dive. You know what? Scuba what? dive. Safari. Yes. Yeah, like oh. cool animals. Yeah, I like, yeah. Like, cool. I would like to like touch the giraffe. Yeah. Somewhere. I would say you with the safari as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We know each other quite well. Yeah. That's great. Impressive. Is this like, are, we gonna, are you going on like a, like a team safari? We could we could do this. Um, oh, I would love that. Does it have a party at the end of it? Or? <laughs> I don't know. You'd be partying with the gazelles and the zebras <laughs> and the rhinos, but I thought Wait. we'll work it out. We won't make it work. You spent a bit of time in Portland for pre-season. Talk to me about some of the highlights of that trip. Yeah, it was a good trip. We stayed around the hotel and we get to sort of walk the streets of Portland. We'd done a few team events as a group as well, so that was quite nice. Like, normally, when we go away on away trips, we don't have the time to bond as a team. It's just like, go up to your room, get your dinner, back up to your room, rest, go to sleep, wake up, you play a game. And I think the good thing about a pre-season tour is you actually can be like, right, we've got a day off. Mm. What do you guys want to do? Like, let's bond as a team. Like, some people had been at the Euros, some people had been here for pre-season. It was nice to kind of get everyone together. And I think, like, it's all about, like, creating moments and memories during that time that kind of you can bring forward into the season. Did you like that answer? I felt like that was really, really nice. It was very deep, deep for me. Yeah, I know, it was deep. I, I like it. I agree, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Who would you say is, like, the hardest away ground, like, an away fan? I think in Europe, I would probably say PSG. Oh, yeah. Like, their, their ultras are real, like, they are loud, they've got the flares, like, they are proper hardcore. Like, when it's, uh, okay, it, this means so much for so many people, and even our fans, like, they're amazing, and they bring atmosphere even to our away games. Yeah. Have you got a, a favourite, like, a standout holiday from being a child that you're like, that was the one? I always, when I was a kid, we always went to... Uh, to Bosnia with my whole family, and we uh, we actually took the the car to Bosnia from Sweden, which is you about drove. Yeah, how far is that drive? Like 24 hours. What? But it was just exciting as You're a child. Yeah, it's like <laughs> You're I, uh, you know, you just uh, buy all these snacks and yeah. you prepare for so long for that trip. So that's one of my like best childhood memories, Aww. and just spending time with your family. Okay, me. Um, Hard to follow, isn't it? You go with the yeah, emotional. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. No, I just remember like big ones, like my mum and my dad like saving up for the big summer holiday. We I remember going to Dominican Republic. Like when you go to Dominican, yeah. you can't be going for like a week. We went yeah. for like two, three weeks at a time. And I remember so many fun memories of just like playing around the pool. Like me and my dad, like we're so competitive. He literally, we used to play like water polo and like get little games. He'd honestly dunk me if I beat him. <laughs> he would dunk me in the water, honestly. We we had so much fun just playing together with a bat and the ball. Like when I was younger, I was a bit of a water baby. Like I just yeah, loved Stay in the pool me. for 24 hours. Yeah, I chill. was in the pool and then I'd come out and I'd have the worst tan lines ever. <laughs> like it'd be up at my neck. Like it'd be so red and it'd be like white where my bodysuit was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing's changed. Yeah. <laughs> a few of your friends, I'm not going to name names, <laughs> okay? But they told us about a trip that you all went on to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And they told their side of the story. They said it was great, they said it was fun, but I want to know if they match up. So, so please break it down for us. What happened on that trip? Why was it so good? Um, like, just the experience, like, yeah, it was directly after the final in, the, in May, so it came at the right time for, for all of us. We had been speaking about it for a long time, about booking the F1, going to the F1. Like, I've never been. I was a big fan. I know, cliche, after drive to survive. Uh, it, it, Typical. Listen, it all got us. Honestly, it all got us. We had the chance to go, and of course, Sam, the plug, helped us the out. The plug, yeah. The plug, we call her. Um, yeah, they were... She was great, and the holiday was—it was—it was amazing. Like we stayed in such a great hotel. We 
went to the F1. We had so much fun. We partied. Like, it was honestly the perfect trip at the perfect time for, for both of us. We had so much fun. Have you forgiven Guru for not going? Um, <laughs> not, not quite yet. No, it's still a sore subject. It's still a sore subject. It's one. still a like, sore subject. Who would rather go back to Norway yeah. <laughs> than go to Barcelona and watch the yeah. Grand Prix, right? Makes sense. With Sam and Aaron, like that. Yeah. Honestly, people would snatch yeah. your hand off for that opportunity. My girl's just like, nah. <laughs> very, very upset, so. <laughs> I'm, pff, touched a nerve. OK, this part of the show is called Behind the Feeds, OK, where we yep. take a look, deep dive into your Instagram, OK, and we pick out some pictures, and you're going to have to tell us <laughs> the story. It's all of you on holiday. Here we go. Go on, take it. Half my belly's out in that one. <laughs> that was last year, wasn't it? Uh, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was a camper van, like, I had a bed in it. Yeah. I had never visited Scotland. I'm Scottish, I'm proud to be Scottish, but I've never had the chance to, like, go up north and visit the ends. I feel like whenever we get a summer holiday, we're just like, right, where are we going to? Where are we going? Let's go away. When actually there's, like, beauty in our back door that we haven't seen. Yeah. So I was like, COVID was a perfect time to be like, you know what, I won't travel. Yeah. Let's just see what Scotland's all about. And honestly, I was absolutely blown away. Like, oh my God, the place is amazing. Yeah. Like. It is gorgeous. I would recommend it if anyone wanted to go, please go to Scotland. Like, it really opened up my eyes. Travel Scotland. Yeah. yeah. I love please, that. An impassioned <laughs> speech. My beautiful country, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. OK, cool. Swipe yeah. to the next one. There's a... Uh... It's yeah. enjoyment. What, what, what's, I mean, where is it? Connecting with nature, it's in Sweden. We have beautiful nature in Sweden. Like, you should really come and visit. Visit if Sweden. You, yeah, visit Sweden. What are you fishing? Did you catch anything? No, I, I was really bad at it. Maybe it looks like I, I know what I'm doing, but actually It doesn't I don't. look like you know what you're doing. Let me tell you that for free. OK, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably holding it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this was, I was out with my best friend, actually. We had a, a full day out in the nature. I love to be out okay. in nature. So, yeah, in Sweden, it's amazing for that. Last thing, what is your essential three things that a hotel needs to have? Good bed. Smart. Soft bathrobe. Oof. Great coffee. Zichir, so, what about you? Uh, good bed, wifey, big windows. Wait. Wifey? Wifi. Wi-Fi, like, yeah, Wi-Fi. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. On that note, <laughs> let's get on the road. <laughs> I'm gone.